Well, with respect to the IRS, I, I spoke to this yesterday. Uh, my main concern is fixing a problem. And we began that process yesterday by uh, asking and uh, accepting the resignation uh, of the acting director there. Uh, we will be uh, putting in new leadership uh, that will be able to make sure that following up on the uh, IG audit, that we gather up all the facts, that we hold accountable those who have taken uh, these outrageous actions. As I said last night, uh, it is just simply unacceptable for there to even be a hint of partisanship or uh, ideology when it comes to the application of our tax laws. Uh, I am going to go ahead and ask folks, why don't, you, why don't we get a couple of uh, Marines? They're going to look good next to us just because I, uh, I want to. I've got to change his suits, but I don't know about uh, uh, our, prime, uh, our Prime Minister. Uh, there we go. That's good. I'm, you guys, I'm sorry about it. Uh, but but let, 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 me, uh, uh, let me make sure that uh, uh, I answer a specific question. Um, uh, I can assure you that uh, I certainly did not know anything about the IG report before the IG uh, report had been leaked through press, uh, through the press. Uh, typically, the IG reports are not supposed to be widely distributed or shared. They tend to be, uh, you know, a process that everybody's trying to protect the integrity of. Uh, but what I'm absolutely certain of is, is that uh, the actions that were described in that IG report uh, are unacceptable. So in addition to making sure that we've got a new acting director there, uh, we're also going to make sure that we gather up the facts and hold accountable and responsible anybody uh, who was involved in this. We're going to make sure that we uh, identify any structural or management issues to prevent something like this from happening again. Uh, we're going to make sure that we are accepting all of the recommendations that the IG has in the report. And I'm looking forward to working with Congress uh, to uh, fully investigate what happened, make sure that it doesn't happen again, uh, and also uh, uh, look at some of the laws that uh, create a bunch of ambiguity in which the IRS may uh, not have enough guidance and not be clear about what exactly they need to be doing and doing it right so that the American people have confidence uh, that, uh, that the tax laws are being applied fairly and evenly. Uh, so uh, you know, in, in terms of the White House and reporting, I think that you know, uh, you've gotten that information from Mr. Carney and, and others. Uh, you know, I, I promise you this, that the minute I found out about it, then my main focus is making sure that we get the thing fixed. Uh, you know, I think that it's going to be sufficient for us to be working with Congress. They've got a whole bunch of committees. We've got IGs already there. The IG has done an audit. It's now, my understanding, going to be recommend, uh, recommending a, an investigation. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, Attorney General Holder also announced uh, a criminal investigation of what happened. Uh, between those investigations, uh, I think we're going to be able to figure out exactly what happened who was involved, what went wrong, uh, and we're going to be able to implement steps to fix it. And that ultimately is the main priority that I have, but also I think the American people have. They understand that uh, we've got uh, an agency that uh, has enormous potential power and uh, is involved in everybody's lives. And uh, that's part of the reason why uh, it's been treated as a quasi-independent uh, institution. Uh, but that's also why we've got to make sure that it is doing its job scrupulously uh, and without even a hint uh, of bias uh, or a, a hint that uh, sometime, somehow they're favoring one group over another. Uh, and as I said yesterday, uh, I'm outraged by this in part because, uh, look, I'm, I'm a public figure. The, uh, if, if a future administration uh, is starting to use the tax laws, uh, to favor uh, 
uh, one party over another or, or one political view over another, obviously, we're all vulnerable. Uh, and that's why, as I've said, it doesn't matter whether you're a Democrat or a Republican, uh, you should be uh, equally outraged uh, at even the prospect uh, that the IRS might not be uh, acting with uh, the kind of uh, complete neutrality that we expect. And I think we're going to be able to fix it. We're going to be able to get there uh, and get it done. And we, we've already begun that process, and we're going to keep on going until, until it's finished.